On November 22, 1965, John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. His death sent shockwaves around the U.S. There are many questions about JFK's assassination. Did Oswald act alone in killing JFK? Did Jack Ruby kill Oswald for ulterior motives? Do aliens exist? Now, you might be thinking, why all the conspiracies? Well, the main reason is that JFK was the only president shot by people in hidden positions. Lincoln was shot in front of a theater crowd. Garfield was shot in a train station. McKinley was killed in a meeting with the public. So we don't know exactly who JFK's killer was because they were in hidden places. It also doesn't help that the suspected assassin was killed two days after JFK was shot. Now before we start the video, this video does not pertain to the identity of the assassins, but to the location and number of them. Alright, let's begin. Now history books, and 20% of Americans, will tell you JFK was shot by Lee Harvey Oswald, who was hiding in the Texas School Book Depository. While I think Oswald most certainly was an assassin, I don't think that's the whole story. If you look at the Zapruder film, the film reel that perfectly shows JFK's assassination, it seems that the fatal bullet was shot from a different direction from the depository. Now, near the president that day was Mary Mormon, and she took a photo pretty much right when the bullet hit JFK's head. There is a person people think is in the picture, the badge man, but that's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about something different. What is that? Now, when I first saw this, I was like, is that a sniper? Future me here. I was going to make this a longer video, but let's just get to the point. I concluded that this most likely was not an assassin. The aim is slightly wrong, the angle in the Zabruder film does not coincide with the suspected location, so it most likely was just a severely coincidental group of trees. But I do think the Warren Commission was wrong in saying only one person acted in killing JFK. Wrong -o. We can definitively say that there was at least two people involved in the JFK assassination. So hopefully this taught you 20% of Americans, and if it didn't, I don't really care.